Hi everyone, in this video, magdi-discuss ako ng isa pang example of material balances involving multiple unit processes na non-reactive. And in this example, it's actually an example of a system or a process na merong siyang bypass stream. Okay? So this specific example involves concentrating orange juices. Okay? So you have here the problem statement. You can pause the video and read the whole problem statement. Now, if you have done that, then here I will show you the basic flow sheet or diagram ng ating problem. So, mayroon ka daw 1,000 kilograms ng orange juice na fresh. Alright? So, ito siya. Now, we know the composition of this orange juice. So it turns out na 12.5% of that ay yung solids or yung pulps na tinatawag natin. Okay? So what will happen here is that we will strain this fresh orange juice using a strainer. Okay? And then, ang mga yare is that it will yield 800 kilogram of strain juice. Now, yung 800 kilogram na strain juice na yan ay pupunta dito sa evaporator. Okay? And in the evaporator, di ba, ang evaporator ay isang unit procedure that can concentrate a certain dilute solution. So you will expect that after evaporation, magkakaroon ng uh, concentrated tayo na orange juice. Okay? And here, the evaporator gave an evaporated juice of 58% solids. Okay? So yan yung resulta ng evaporation. Nagkaroon tayo ngayon ng 58% concentrated orange juice. 58% yung kanyang pulps or solids. Okay? Now, Dito, di ba, 1,000 kg yung pinasok nating orange juice and yung strain juice ay 800 kg. Saan napunta yung 200 kg? So actually, yung 200 kg ay binaypas natin around the evaporator. So ito yung 200 kg, kumuha tayo ng bypass. Okay, and ilalagay natin siya dito sa ating mixer. Okay? Uh, therefore, that bypass stream is being mixed here in the mixer and that will kind of improve the flavor. Because what we desire here is that the final concentrated orange juice should contain 40% solids. Okay? So from 58% solids, medyo ayaw natin ng masyadong concentrated, so bababa natin ng konti. Magiging 42% solids siya. And the way to do that is you mix a bypass stream of the original pulp juice. So what we are after here is to calculate the concentration of solids. Okay. So let me write that down. Calculate A, the concentration of solids in the stream juice. So what will I do perhaps muna is to name the streams or the variable. So let's have the fresh feed as F, okay, referring to the feed. And then yung bypass natin, tawagin natin siyang B. Okay, so this is our bypass. Tapos, yung strain juice, maybe we can use a symbol S. And then for the product coming from the evaporator, uh, we can call it the evaporate, of course, no? So letter E, ang gagamitin ko. Um, yung pinaka-final product natin ay tatawagin ko siyang P. And of course, sa evaporation naman, merong kang expecan na removal ng water. Okay? So, let's name it W. Okay, so therefore, okay, ano yung hanapin natin dito sa problem na to? So, letter A, we will need to calculate the concentration of solids in the strained juice. Okay? So, percent solids in S. Letter B, um, the kilogram of final concentrated juice. So therefore, we're after P. 
kung gaano daw yan karami yung mga obtain natin and letter C the concentration of solids in the pulpy juice bypass so we know the amount of pulpy juice 200 kg bypass but we don't know the percent or the concentration of solids in that bypass stream so how do we proceed first we need to have a good basis. So for this example, uh, probably a good base will be yung given na 1,000 kilogram ng orange juice. Okay? Now, normally, I start my calculation with the overall material balance around the system. So in other words, you are considering the whole system that containing three of those unit procedures, okay, as a single unit. So in other words, my system overall material balance will be F equals W plus P. Okay. And we know the value of your F, that's 1,000. So 1,000 equals W plus Okay, so we have two unknowns. So we need another equation to solve for the unknowns. And therefore, I might do solid balance around the system. Okay, so again, nasa buong system pa lang tayo. Solid balance. So, gano ba karami ang solid sa F? Okay, so let me just write it this way. Solids in F, okay, around the system to, equals solids in W plus solid in P. Okay? Uh, you expect, syempre, na wala namang solid siguro dun sa W, right? Kasi purely water lang yan. Now, yung solids in F, we know the composition kasi nung F. So the solids in F, Okay, kung babalik kayo dito sa diagram, ayun no, 12.5%. So that will be 0.125 times F. Okay, but what is F? F is 1,000, right? Equals solids in P. So do we know that? Yes. From our diagram, we know that the composition of solids is 58. Sorry, no, it's not 58. It's 42 rather. 42%. 0.42 p and thankfully in this equation is lang ang unknown so we will be able to solve already for p p now is 297.6 kilogram okay so let me just highlight this for a while that's your P. And actually, ito na yung isa sa mga required sa ating problem na calculate. So we have therefore solve for letter B. Okay? So what's next? Well, since you have this overall balance here. So we can go, get back to that one to get the value or the amount of W. So again, 1,000 equals W plus P. But what is P? P is 297.6 kilogram. Therefore, W is calculated to be 702.4. Oops. Ayan o. Meron ka ng P, which is one of the required in this problem. Meron ka pang W, or the amount of water evaporated. Okay. Balikan na natin yung given. So, we are after the percent solids in S and the percent solids in B. Okay? So, yung solids dito sa bypass... 
at sa S or sa strange juice street. Okay, so ano gagawin natin para mahanap sila? Well, we could go to each unit operation one by one and solve for the material balance around each operation. Baka makita na natin yung mga stream na hinahanap natin. So, saan kaya tayo pwedeng magkaroon ng material balance? Well, of course, lahat pa pwede. Okay? So, you can start with the strainer, you can start with the evaporator, you can start with the mixer. Okay? However, if you are going to uh, well, consider yung strainer, uh, yung overall balance niya kasi known na, no? So, from 1,000 naging nag-split into 200 tsaka 800. Okay? So, but yes, we, we can still do component balance around the strainer. But, uh, para mapabilis yung ating discussion, let me consider first yung evaporator. Okay? So, consider the evaporator. Okay. Sa evaporator, ang kanyang overall balance ay S equals W plus E. Tama ba? Yung ating strain juice, yung ating input, yung output niya man is yung water na nag-evaporate tsaka yung evaporate. Okay? Thankfully, we already know the value of S and W. Remember, S is 800 and W, we have solved that a while ago, that 702.4 kilograms. So, the reason why I consider the evaporator first kasi yun yung pinakamadali na i-solve kasi isa na lang ang unknown. Okay? Let me just paste the unit for a while. So, plus E. So, E, or the evap, uh, I mean the product coming from the evaporator immediate, therefore will be 97.6 kilogram. Okay. So, we have solved there for E. But still, hindi ito yung hinanap natin. But later on, we will be able to accomplish everything. So, tapos na tayo sa overall ni evaporator. Doon naman tayo sa component balance around the evaporator. So, maybe we can have solid balance around the evaporator. Okay? Uh, well, just to write it here. Solid in S equals solid in W. Plus solid in E. But then again, wala naman talagang solid dun sa W kasi purely water lang siya. So continuing, solid in S is what? Do we have that um, value? Well, no. We don't have the composition. So unknown pa rin siya. So solid in S. Okay? Equals solid in E. But Ano yung solid sa E? Di ba alam natin yan as 58%. So 0.58 times E. But we know the value of E, right? Nasolda natin yan. That's 97.6. Therefore, solid in S is that amount. Oops. So let me calculate that. That will become... 56.6 kilograms. Okay. Remember, according to the problem, kailangan natin kunin ang solids or percent solids doon sa S. Composition ni S, right? Eh, meron naman tayong amount ni S at meron din naman tayong uh, value or amount ni S given naman yan. So therefore, percent solid in S is, di ba, 56.6 divided by 800 yung amount ng ating S. So it will give you 7.1 and this is 
our answer. Four letter A. So A and B tapos na. Yung sina lang, which is percent solids in B. Hmm. Paano yan? So of course, you need to have a material balance. You need to perform material balance calculations in a unit na involving the bypass stream. Okay? Kasi inahanap natin yung solids sa B. Okay? So ilan daw yung solids dito sa bypass stream. So malamang, kailangan mong gamitin yung either the strainer or the mixer. Okay? Kasi sila yung mga unit na naka-involve yung bypass stream. So let me probably use the mixer. Okay? So let's consider the mixer. Okay, uh, well, you don't really have to perform the balance overall around the mixer, yung evap plus yung bypass equals the product. No, you don't have to do this because you already know the composition, uh, the, the, the amounts of all, no? So you know uh, already yung P, na solve natin yung kanina. Alam mo na rin yung E, alam mo na rin yung W. But ang importante dito ay mag-perform tayo ngayon ng solids balance around the mixer. So solids balance around mixer. So this equation right here is satisfied already. Okay. So solid in E plus solid in B equals solid in P. Okay. Now, what is the amount of solids in E? Okay. Naalala nyo, sa, sa diagram natin, 58%. Okay. Of E. Now, next, solids in B. Eh, yung hinahanap natin kung gaano kadami and yung percentage ng solid sa bypass stream. Next is solids in P. We know that it's 42%, right? According to our given. Now, we have the value of E. Nasolve na natin yung kanina. So E is, from our earlier calculation, 97.6 kilogram plus solids in B equals yung pinaman, nasolve din natin yung kanina, kanina pa, that's our uh, 297.6. Okay, so therefore, you can calculate solids in P. That will be, sorry, B rather. And that will be 68.38 kilograms. Okay, so that is the amount of... Sorry. No solid sa B. And finally, kailangan dito kasi yung percentage. So, there 4% solids in the bypass is yung um, 68.384. Ang amount ni bypass, remember, it's 200 kilogram. So, therefore, the answer is 34.2%.